These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for August the 7th, 2022. This is the pre-publication offer for my timeline 1900 to 2021. You've seen drafts of it for the past 11 weeks. It includes an introduction and an exhausting, exhaustive index, which you haven't seen, 114 pages in all. For a signed print copy, make a one-time payment of $24 before August 15th, 2022, either via the Leave a Tip button on the Sunday Recommendations page or via PayPal. Incidentally, I think this would be an extremely useful gift for any high school or college age kids or grandkids that you happen to know. It'll be available for purchase on Amazon at the end of August. All right, this week's blog post is the 11th of 12 in the Timeline series. It covers 2000 to 2009. The pitch. If you want to change the world, you have to know what's happening and the ideas behind those events. The request. Tell me if you see errors or omissions. And thanks to those of you who have sent me notes about this. There's more details in the first blog post in the Timeline series. Second recommendation. A poem by Sam Walter Foss who lived 1858 to 1911. The environmentalist movement didn't take off until the 1970s, but you can see the mentality that's attracted to it in this poem from 1911 or earlier. The sun's heat will give out in 10 million years more, and he worried about it. It will sure give out then if it doesn't before, and he worried about it. It will surely give out so that scientists said in all scientific books he had read, and the whole boundless universe then will be dead, and he worried about it. And some day the earth will fall into the sun, and he worried about it, just as sure and as straight as if shot from a gun, and he worried about it. When strong gravitation unbuckles her straps, just picture, he said, what a fearful collapse. It will come in a few million ages, perhaps. And he worried about it. And the earth will become much too small for the race. And he worried about it. When we'll pay $30 an inch for pure space. And he worried about it. The earth will be crowded so much, without doubt, that there won't be room for one's tongue to stick out, nor room for one's thought to wander about. And he worried about it. And the Gulf Stream will curve, and New England grow torridor, and he worried about it. Then was ever the climate of southernmost Florida, and he worried about it. Our ice crop will be knocked into small smithereens, and crocodiles block up our mowing machines, and we'll lose our fine crops of potatoes and beans, and he worried about it. And in less than 10,000 years, there's no doubt, and he worried about it, Our supply of lumber and coal will give out, and he worried about it. Just then the Ice Age will return cold and raw. Frozen men will stand stiff with arms outstretched in awe, as if vainly beseeching a general thaw, and he worried about it. His wife took in washing half a dollar a day. He didn't worry about it. His daughter sewed shirts, the rude grocer to pay. He didn't worry about it. While his wife beat her tireless rub-a-dub-dub on the washboard drum of her old wooden tub, he sat by the stove and he just let her rub. He didn't worry about it. All right, third recommendation, Men of Honor, a movie from 2000. This is an inspiring biographical film on Carl Brashear, a sharecropper's son who became one of the first black master divers in the U.S. Navy. Stars Cuba Gooding and Robert De Niro. The fourth recommendation this week is a murder mystery from 2002. DianeDurantyWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, architecture, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations email list, visit the URL that is on the screen or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on DianeDurantyWriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.